Hi, in this video, Apostle Selman will be sharing on how the help we desire can only come from God. Let your hearts be opened and prepared to be blessed by this video production. God bless you. There is a limit to which a man unassisted by God can go. That God is able to help men, even ordinary men, by the empowerment of the Spirit. Help can come to you like a messenger. The assignment of help is not to take over responsibility. What does it mean to help? A man can receive help. Haven't therefore obtained help of God. I continue to this day. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My, my help, help cometh help. from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. He can make men. Someone be ready to shout amen. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Amen. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Much less love and beauty and less world. Nothing in this world, nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, you're the cause. Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. Who is like you, Lord? Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Hey, much less love and beauty. Much less love and beauty in this world. Hey, nothing in this world can nothing satisfy. In this world. Psalms 18 and verse 29. Let's begin our discussion from that scripture. Psalms 18. It says, For by thee I have run through a troop. By my God I have leaped over a wall. It is not possible to do this unassisted. He said, By thee I have run through a troop. And by my God I have leaped over a wall. Second scripture. Psalm 20 from verse 1 to 5. 21 to 5. Someone be ready to shout amen. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. Amen. It says the name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Amen. We're reading to verse 5 but my emphasis is the next verse. It says send thee help. Send thee help. Listen, that means help can come to you like a messenger. Like you send someone. He says help can be personified. And that a man can receive help. Send thee help from his sanctuary. And strengthen thee out of Zion. Verse 3. He says remember all thy offerings. And accept thy burnt sacrifice. Verse 4. Now grant thee. Grant thee according to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. Amen. Verse 5. It says, We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of our God will we set up our banner. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Amen. The Bible is very clear as to the fact that there is a limit to which a man unassisted by God can go there are certain results and certain possibilities that cannot happen to a man unassisted 
you make reference to our discussions before now, I think in the morning, I did share that there are certain results that when you see happen in the life of a man, it immediately reveals that that individual is in partnership with the realm of the spirit, whether demonically or divine by the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Romans chapter 9 and verse 16 reveals to us our frailty outside of the assistance of God. It says, so then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. Are we together? In Acts chapter 26 and verse 22, very profound scripture, 26, 22 Acts, it says, Having therefore obtained help of God, I continue to this day. That means it is not given longevity of impact is not usual. That when a man sustains that momentum, it is because you have obtained help from God to remain in ever increasing dimensions of impact. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. In 2 Chronicles chapter 2, we read verse 5 in the morning. Let's do 15 now. 2 Chronicles 2, 5, 15. Hallelujah. The Bible says, am I right on that? 2 26 my apologies 26 15 second chronicles 26 and verse 15 speaking about uzziah the bible says let's read together one to read and he made in jerusalem engines invented by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the bulwarks to shoot arrows and great stones withal and his name spread abroad for he was marvelously helped till he was strong that god is able to help men even ordinary men by the empowerment of the spirit so settle it once and for all that unassisted by god there is a limit by default in the life of every man i think in psalm 121 profound scripture the psalmist was speaking and he says i will lift up my eyes to the heavens he says from whence cometh my help it was a question i will lift up my eyes unto the heavens the hills from whence cometh my help then he says my help that means no assumption i don't know where yours is coming from but my help cometh from the lord then he calls him the maker very powerful name the maker in this case of the heavens and the earth but that is not all he makes alone he can make men he can make destinies when the word became flesh he told men come follow me and i will make you i will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help and he says my help not our help my help cometh from the lord the maker of the heavens and the earth what does it mean to help to help means to make easy or to make possible to make easy or to make possible by offering assistance offering your service offering your resources the assignment of help is not to take over responsibility the assignment of help is to make it easy are we together now to provide that leverage that sponsors possibilities the bible says that in the dealings of god with men men can be helped by god say amen, amen. businessmen can be helped by god men of god can be helped by god and that when you look at a life and destiny that has obtained help from god versus a life that is running in the strength of the flesh the difference is as clear as east to west hallelujah praise the name of the lord we believe you were blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.